Now, if you have a cat, a cat can ground you as well. This is my cat, Sasha. She's a very grumpy cat, although I don't really think she's grumpy, but she always hisses when I pet her, but she likes to be pet. And the cool thing about cats is that they purr. So the purring effect, if you have your cat purring near you, it's very calming, very grounding, and very relaxing to your nervous system. So if you have a cat, that's a big blessing. Um, I would pet her, but she might just hiss at me, and maybe I should so you guys can see what I'm talking about. She's being friendly today. Hey, Sasha. And so you would just pet them and cuddle with them, and they begin to purr and do different things. She's being very friendly today. This is not like her. She would usually uh, hiss right away as I pet her on the side like this but she's being very loving right now. And before I started petting her, I'll just share something with you. I created a grounding cord. So a grounding cord is something that I learned a while back when I was working with children that have autism. I have a couple horses and I was looking into equine therapy for autistic kids because I had quite a few that were going to some farms near us. And so I was wanting to know what it, what it took to have a therapeutic horse. And it doesn't take anything special. All it is is you are containing that energy. You are the one that is uh, working with the energy. So when before I start with a client, an autistic child, I will bring the child to the horse or to this animal, the cat, and let them present themselves to each other and then take a breath. And then I'll explain to the child that we have to create a grounding cord to energetically connect to this animal so we can communicate and receive the healing or the releasing from the animal and the help that we need. So to do so, we're going to have to use our imagination. And so this is what I teach the children. So we're going to go into our imagination and pretend that we have a string, a cord that is coming out from our bodies. We can imagine that they're coming out from the center of our bodies. We can stand in a stance. I tell them usually to stand in a stance with their legs apart. And there's a cord energetically coming out from in, in their body down straight into the ground. And they will imagine that cord going through the dirt. And so I'll kind of ima uh, help them imagine it if they have trouble. It will go through the dirt, through the worms. It'll go through everything that's down there magma whatever you can imagine that is underneath the earth is going to go through that cord is going to go straight through until boom it's going to click and it's going to hit a spot where you're going to ground it and either you can nail it in you can imagine how you're going to ground it for me it's a white light i imagine it and it turns into once i hit my spot it turns into white light and it clicks so for me i don't have to do a lot of imagining it automatically does that and when that happens, there she goes, when that happens, um, you're now grounded. And so when you're grounded, that's now ready for you to energetically, you know, be safe. You'll feel more secure. You'll feel your body is feeling like this level of safety. And Sasha's not feeling very safe, but she is safe. She's just a very cranky little cat sometimes. But anyhow, once you ground the child or the other person, you can ground the animal. So I asked the child to imagine that the animal has a cord as well coming from its belly button. Now the animal stands on all fours and so that cord is going to do the same exact thing. Go straight down into the center of the earth. All the way down, all the way down until it clicks in that spot where we can ground it where there's no more. And now the animal is grounded in a separate spot from yours but you're both grounded and ready to go. So now you can interact with your animal, communicate with them, pet them, do all kinds of things in a much safer way. The animal will feel safer and the person will feel safer. So before I started, I grounded myself. I didn't really ground Sasha, but I could do that to have a better experience. Um, but I did come in with a little bit of a grounded energy, which she received better. Um, but she's had enough, you know, she's like, stop filming me. This has been enough. So it's gone long enough. If I had grounded her, she would have probably been a little more receptive. And so I have horses and I will plan to make a video, hopefully with my daughter or somebody involved, to show you some of the 
therapies that you can do with horses. Thanks for watching.